어. 거인 on Swift 13 Nation and welcome back to my channel. Right now we are doing part 2 of the of the first tree series. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I love this game so much. I just want to keep playing playing it so much. I keep saying so much. Why am I saying so much? Ugh. I might have to like edit and cut that. <laughs> okay, but let's get right into the video and let's just let's get this started. All right, guys. So this is where we last stopped off. Wow, I just I just love this the scenery. It's just so amazing. If there was some way I could take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, what is that? Nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. True. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Oh, because you miss your dad. That's why. Ooh. Beautiful. distant at the times when I detested him the most. He kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path Talking in the warm sunshine, we only got a couple months of the year. Those three Aww. obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, yeah. my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even Aww. carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I love sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore. But that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had Aww. to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk. We were happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes, 
the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside, and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. But then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. No. What do these rocks mean? What am I supposed to do? Oh! What was that? What did I just do? Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Oh! I just got it. Okay. So I have to go back to the other previous locations and do the same thing. Okay. Sweet. Oh, it's a crib. Huh. Interesting. To be a house here. Huh. On our property, there were old abandoned pieces of a shed and car long left unused. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk. And I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. <laughs> What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real. Growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but you know, I was a weird kid. Well, you had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> How many times I said I love this game, but I love it. I, I love, like I really love this game. Oh man. Like I wish I lived around like a uh, landscape just like this. Just walk around it, especially when I'm stressed. This would be perfect. Got it. What did I just do? Sweet. Now we can move on. First, let's get these um these light these light orbs. Up. Oh, there we go. One over here. stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My What's dad that? is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell oh him these God. stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry for everything. Aww. Oh, I thought his—I thought his dad was still alive. No. Oh, see, that's the worst feeling, you know. It's like it's crazy how we're like, especially when we're teenagers, we we take our parents for granted until like something happens, or, or even for like a, someone that you care about. Like, you don't you, you spend all this time with them, and then there's like still so much more you want to say to them, but you just never had like you never just thought about or had like the time to do it until they're gone you're just like oh my god there's so much i want to say to you I, I wish i said sorry to you i wish i was able, i treated you better i wish i was more thankful for what you've done but it's too late you know that's like the worst feeling the worst feeling ever to feel like that so like advice is like you just gotta especially with your parents or just anyone that you care about just Make sure you spend every precious moment with them because you never know what's going to happen. Because life, life is always going to find ways to like bully you down to the ground. It's going to find ways to just 
one day life is like great and then the next moment something can happen so just always just be mindful be present to spend every great moment with everyone that you care about i just want to wonder what oh is that a wolf whoa Oh, I have to go down that? <laughs> Let me just, oh man, okay. Oh, this is so beautiful, oh man. All right, jump! playing sad music. There's another memory right here. sad at the same time. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? I need to go to bed. I just can't talk about this anymore. Okay, that's it? Alright. Okay. Oh. That's it. I thought he was gonna say something. You, know, you can't just end it there. You can't end it in a sad note. Come on. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Um, I'm so sad right now. I don't. Oh, I didn't know his dad died. That sucks. Oh, so much she wanted to say, and so much she wanted to say sorry for, it, but he's dead. That's a terrible feeling. Ah, I was so positive in, in the beginning, and now I'm like all sad now. Aw. Um, wow, that's... I'm, I'm just gonna end it from there, because now I feel very sad. I don't wanna... I, I don't wanna keep continuing the game in a sad note. Uh, Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well, and also don't forget to click that notification button as, so you guys can know when I upload my next videos. Until next time, guys.